What's going on, you guys? So this is just going to be a video for how to set up some of your settings for the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3 uh, so that you get all your notifications if you're in the U.S. Uh, so I'm using this phone as my daily driver, and I'm here in the U.S. Uh, I'm on T-Mobile, um, so I think on T-Mobile I have no problems using these Chinese phones. I was just using the Vivo before this. Uh, X90 Pro Plus. On T-Mobile, it's no problems. I'm not sure about Verizon, um, but on T-Mobile and AT&T, I think you guys should be good. But you guys got to go through these settings and set this up <clears throat> if you want to get all your notifications. And uh, I have no problems getting any of my notifications, uh, phones, calls, uh, texts. I'm texting my uh, my other number right here um, just to kind of, just to see, uh, just to test it. Um, then I grab my other phone. I text myself back, yo, yo, yo. And right here, you see it's popping up. This is my Google Messages. It's popping up on my home screen. Uh, everything works. Uh, I've got conversations going. I just got a text from uh, at Lavo. This is Lavo NYC. My girl and I go to this nightclub uh, when we're in, in New York City. So um, this is how you do it. This is how you do all your apps. Uh, when you get them downloaded, um, uh, the first thing you want to do is... I can do it from this home screen. You can long click on the app, go to app info, um, and then start going down the line, right? So your auto start, if it's shut off, you want to turn this on and go down your permissions. Now on these Chinese phones, uh, this might sound stupid or uneducated, but on these Chinese phones, I don't know what exactly is affecting what. So I just allow everything. I go down the list and I allow everything on the apps that I want. So for me, this is Reddit. I use this a lot. I want notifications from it. So um, I go in and I change that. And that's going to be every app, right? So I went in to uh, map my run, right? Auto start, yes. Permissions allowed. All of them, right? I got all of them allowed. And this is to make sure that it doesn't mess with the GPS when you're trying to use it. Just to for your ease of life, all of these apps are going to work properly. If 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 they're if they're allowed to ac access the just like regular in your in your Google phone, in your Samsung and Apple phone, it's going to ask if you want to access GPS. Here it will too, but it's going to make it a little better if you go and activate it through the settings. Everything's just going to work the way it's supposed to. Um, so you're going to have to go to every one of your apps that you want to get uh, notifications from, and you're going to have to go in and do this. Um, uh, do these permissions, uh, allow all your permissions, and allow all of your notifications. Show all your notifications, right? Miss calls, show, no, show everything. So this is Google Voice. I use Voice for a lot of my messages, and I just go in and I allow everything and make sure um, that, it's, that it's running. Notification badges, miss calls, everything allowed, right? Call recording, everything allowed, and go through that. The second thing you want to do is you want to go to your battery saver. Most of these apps are going to be on battery saver recommended. You want to go to no restrictions so it doesn't shut them down. And this even goes to my, just now, my uh, I went to turn this phone on. My Gboard app wasn't popping up in my messages, right? Uh, my G board wasn't coming up. Uh, my other, the, the, the other stock keyboard was coming up. I went in and checked my G board, uh, for that app for G board. A lot of these notifications weren't, um, uh, clicked on yes. So I had to go in and I had to, uh, go and manually allow all that. And now I don't have the problems with that. Okay. So you're going to have to go do all that. Next thing you're going to have to do while you're in there, you want to go to battery saver, no restrictions. I think we went over that. Um, another thing that you can try, uh, if you guys want to do this, um, is you can go into your native, this is the Net Xiaomi native, uh, security app. You can go into your settings, look at my security shit right here. Cause I downloaded all these Google apps. It doesn't like it. This phone comes with a Chinese ROM. So this phone comes with Chinese apps. It doesn't like to play nice with Google apps. Your Samsung phone and your iPhone is going to optimize it so that your Google apps are running, uh, perfectly fine. It doesn't throttle them in the background. This phone's not going to do that. So that's why you have to go and do all this manually for every app. And when you do this, your girl's probably going to get mad at you because you're going to be sitting there for three hours uh, going through the settings. But you know, it's like I tell my girl, it's better I'm going through the settings for three hours on a phone than DMing these other bitches in Instagram or going through whatever, right? Speaking of which, I get all my Instagrams. I get all my Instagram. Uh, I get all my Instagram notifications too. I got no problems with any of that. Uh, this is just my access there. Uh, anyway, so you're going to go in and you can go into your uh, security app, settings, boost speed, and you can lock your apps. And what this is going to do, I haven't had to do this yet, right? And I'm still getting all my notifications. 
But if I did, this is going to be the next thing I do uh, to try to, if something messes up, this is the next thing I'm going to do to try it. Is then you can click on your Gmail, whatever notifications that you really want to be getting, um, you click this on and it's going to lock these apps so that it doesn't shut them down in the background so that they're constantly receiving those notifications, right? So whatever apps you want to do, and all of this is going to lower your battery um, life, obviously, because it's going to keep those apps open, but the battery life on this phone is really good. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it, it hasn't really messed with me yet, but it will lower your battery. But to get your notifications here in the U.S., this is one of the things we have to do. So you can do that, right? Another thing you can do is uh, you can go into your developer mode. And uh, so you can go into here, my device, detailed info and specs. And this is me, I, UI version, right? Me, UI. If you click this multiple times, it'll make you a developer, right? So that's um, settings. My device, detailed info and specs, MIUI version. Click on that till it makes you a developer, then back out of that, go into your additional settings, go into your developer options. There's an option, scroll all the way down. There's an option in here for turn on MIUI optimization. Now you wanna shut that off if, if, if nothing else is working. Now, here's a disclaimer. For me, when I shut this off, it messed with my split screen. So when you're opening up your apps in split screen, okay, these apps, one of the things on this phone is it can't rotate, right? So these apps are going to be like this, right? These apps are going to be vertical right next to each other. So when I turned off that MIUI optimization in the developer options, it flipped it. It made them horizontal. So they're one on top of the other and I couldn't get them back. So it glitched the phone out and I couldn't make, move them around or do anything. So I turned that off. But for me, it wasn't really affecting it. Um, so that's another thing you can try, right? And I don't know, again, for me, it might be affecting my phone. You might turn it on and it might be fine, right? So you just got to try it and see what works for you. You can then go into your settings, into your notifications in your control center, okay? And into your app notifications. This is just to double check. And you're going to do all this through the settings anyway when you go through. And make sure all your apps that you want notifications from are clicked on, that you get notifications. So I did this. I'm here in the U.S. Uh, my phone's working perfectly. I'm making calls. I'm receiving calls. I'm getting texts, SMS texts, uh, Google messages. Everything's working perfectly. It is a little bit of work. And I guess then what happens is the question becomes is, you know, when you have options here for iPhone and the Fold, uh, is it worth going through all of this work to import a phone from China for $1,500? Is the phone worth it, right? Is it worth going through all these apps and doing all these settings and weird back around workarounds just to be getting your notification. Is the phone worth it? And the answer is, well, bitch, it might be. I don't know. I'm going to test it out for a couple more days and we might do a review on it. So if you guys want to see that, tune in. And um, anyway, that's a little bit on how to uh, get all your settings right so that you're getting all your apps on your, all your app notifications on your uh, Xiaomi uh, Mix Fold 3. Thanks.